Hello everyone, my name is Kumar and welcome back to my channel Kumar Programming. In our previous session, we have seen what all the Chai assertion style, different type of assert, expect and should. And we have seen how to write the common Chai assertions for all these three styles for assert, accept and should as well. Now, in this session, we are going to learn about hooks. Mainly, we are going to cover before, after, before each and after each hook. And we are going to see what are the nested suits as well as we will try to cover skip and focus test these three topics are very small but it's very very important whenever we are writing our test cases now let's see how we can write them let's flip to the visual studio in our previous video we have learned about different type of chai assertion styles expect should and assert and also we have learned how to write common chai assertions for different type of data types for all the three assertion styles now in this video we are going to cover about hooks so first of all let's know what is hooks okay so hooks are special functions that allow you to set up and tear down your test environment they provide a way to perform common tasks before or after your test cases such as initialization of the variables starting a server or cleaning up resources mainly in mocha we have four type of hooks before before each after and after each okay so now we will see how we can write the hooks and then after that how we can utilize them okay now here in our test folder i'm going to create a new file as a hook dot spec dot ts now let's write our test suits so describe we know that how we can write it and then we have to give the description hooks test and then we have to pass our fat arrow function okay and inside this describe we can write our hooks okay so now let's write our first hook as a before syntax is very simple inside this function we have to pass our fat arrow function and inside this before i'm going to write console okay and i'll write it here before okay similarly i'll write the other hook as well after and we have two more hooks as well so here i'll write uh, before each and similarly we will write for after each okay now here before before each and this is after each and this is for after okay why i have written in this order because these hooks are getting executed in the same order okay first of all our before hooks is getting executed then after that before each after each and after okay this before is going to be executed only once before the execution of all of our test cases okay and this after is also going to be executed only once after execution of all the test cases okay and this before each and after each is going to be executed for each and every test cases now let me write some test cases over here i'll copy test cases from the calculator class so i'll copy these two sum and subtract I'll write here in, in between before each and after each. Let's import this calculator class as well. Import calculator and let's import this expect from chai. Okay. Now let me minimize this. Control K0. Okay. So let me first format this. Control A, Control KF. So now it's formatted. So it's all minimized now. Okay. So see here, here we have before, before each and these two test cases and here we have after each and after. Now let's run these test cases. Let me open another terminal here and pm run test command. pm run test. Okay, so here it's getting executed. But if you see, we are able to see the other test cases as well. Okay, as of now, we, we are just trying to focus on hooks test only. But what happening? we are seeing this assert style and calculator test cases as well so whenever we are trying to focus on a specific test we have to just write here describe dot only okay so now what will happen only this test case is going to be executed because we are now focusing on this test case only and here we have skip also okay so if you want to skip some specific test then we can skip those and we can execute only the required test cases and this only can be applied on test suit as well as on test cases both okay so here we are just focusing on the hooks test so 
we have written on only on the described test suits now let's run it once again so now what will happen we will be able to see the test cases for hook test only forget about this coverage report as of now let me just show you here see this is our test suit hook test so if you see here before each called only once before the execution of both of the test cases okay and you see after is also called only once after execution of both test cases okay so before and after is going to be called only once and now if you see before each and after each getting executed for each and every test cases here right so now i hope you understood about how to write hooks and how many type of hooks we have okay now we will see what is the importance of hooks and how we can utilize them so now if you see here in these both test cases we are instantiating this calculator class in both of the test cases that is not required okay so what we can do we can instantiate this particular class in our before so here i am going to instantiate it okay and now let's make a variable over here let calc is type of calculator now it's been instantiated and here we can use the calculate dot add and expect the result okay similarly we have to remove this line from here it's not required anymore this calc would be available at this test case as well okay so now if you see we have simplified our test cases we have removed our instantiation from each test cases and we have mentioned it here in our before hook now if you run the test cases once again so it's going to be work as it is see here both of the test cases is getting passed so this is how that we are going to use our hooks okay i'll show you some other examples for the before each after each and after hooks once we are going to stub and use the signal library but for now just try to remember that this is the way that we are writing our hooks and here i cover about skip and only if we want to skip this test case so we can just write here skip okay so now these two test cases is going to be skip let's see that npm run test so skip and only is being used if you want to focus on a specific test now you can see these two test cases are skipped if you see two pending and eight passing okay and if you want to focus on a specific this test suit only so we have to write here only now only these two test cases will be ex executed and rest other test cases will be ignored okay it is very important once we are writing our test cases and we are focusing for a specific test suit only now see here only hooks test suits is executed so we have covered our hooks and we have covered our skip and only now let's cover about nested suits nested suits is nothing it's just having the test suit inside another test suit okay some of the time what is required we have a function and inside that function we have to write the test cases for the multiple functionality so what we can do here suppose that here we have a describe and here inside that we are going to write one more describe i'll write for add test suit and i'll give my fat arrow function here and this add i will give this test case okay and i'll write one more test suit which is subtract okay and i will take this subtract inside this subtract okay and i will take this before before each and after and after each before execution of both of the test suits okay now let's run this so what we are doing here we have, we have written our one test suits and inside that test suit we have written one test suit for sum and one test suit we have written for the subtract now let's run the test cases once again open a new terminal here and pm run test okay now if you see here this is our main test suit okay hooks test and inside this we have two more test suits which are add test suits and subtract test suits so add test suits are from here to here okay and subtract test suits are from here to here okay so this is my add test suits and this is my subtract test suits and their test cases are executed inside those test suits and before executed before the execution of both of the test suits and here after executed after execution of the both of the test suits so this is how we can use the nested test suits we can have a multiple nested test suits inside that 
but in the practical example we would be having only two to three levels not more than that but you can use as many as you want now i hope you that you understood about hooks type of hooks and how we can use hooks now let me commit this code so you can get the reference from the github add a git bash terminal git status so if you see here as of now we have only one files the rest of the files are already pushed to the github now here we are going to git add we can use dot if you are having multiple files anyway we can use it git add file name now this file is being added now let's see if it's added or not git status now let's commit this file commit hyphen m message we can say as a hooks session now git push origin master branch okay now code has been committed i'll provide the github link to the description so you can get the reference from there so friends in this video we have learned about hooks and type of hooks and how we can use them as well as we have covered about nested test suits and how we can write them Additionally, we have covered about skip and only keyword which is being used to skip or execute any specific test cases. In the next section, we are going to cover about Sinon library where we are going to learn about spying, mocking and disturbing and we are going to see what all the differences in between all of them. So friends, this is a very humble request to all of you. If you have not subscribed my channel so far, please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all of my upcoming videos. I will see you in my next video. Till then, have a good day. Take care.